it would be hard to find a kid who doesn't like popsicles, or an adult for that matter. Popsicles are great summer treats, but most of them are loaded with sugar. Cookbook author Jane Jones, also known as the No Sugar Baker, has a fix for that. She's joining us from Florida today. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Feeling great. Good. You know, I, I'm so interested in your story. You cut sugar out of your diet and changed your lifestyle after a major health scare. Tell us what happened. I had to. So I ended up in the emergency room. I had no idea what was wrong with me. I thought I had the flu, for goodness sakes. My blood pressure, I'm embarrassed to tell you, was like 289 over 189. They say my glucose level was 600. It's supposed to be close to 100. So I'm a lawyer by trade. They said I was inches away from having a stroke. I got diagnosed as type 2 diabetic, got released. No one told me that I was going to lose my eyesight for about three weeks, which happened. But hey, wow. here's the good news. Six months later, sugar-free, medicine-free, insulin-free, 60 pounds lighter. Oh, yeah. And hey, that vision we just talked about, back to 2020. Good for you. That's great. So you're now creating diabetic-friendly dishes like the strawberry, blueberry, lemon popsicles you're going to make for us today. Yeah. How do we get right. started you know, with those? This whole week, we're doing all uh, kid-friendly, sugar-free recipes. The, this recipe, bring your kids around the kitchen counter to help you out. I love it. It's so fun. And you know what? You use berries. Berries are actually a friend of the diabetic. So you're going to put about a cup of fresh strawberries. Who doesn't love a fresh strawberry in the summer into your blender? Right? Then you're going to do the same amount of fresh blueberries. So another cup of the blueberries. Then, here's the magic sauce. You're going to use about one-fourth of a cup of unsweetened coconut cream. Friends, it's going to give a creaminess to that popsicle that's going to mimic a little bit of ice cream without the guilt to your hips. And then, it's, hey, half a cup of ice cold water. Here comes the lemon juice. Half a cup of lemon juice. And then I happen to find a sweetener that I call, it's called Squirt. I use their confection, which is like their mimic of uh, all natural powdered sugar. It doesn't give the grit. And here's the best part it tastes good. Some of the sweeteners out there are pretty bad. This one is absolutely fantastic. So, a quarter of a cup of that. Then, make sure your kids put the top onto the blender. You're going to blend it up, liquefy it. Then, here, look at this fancy trick. I found this at the dollar store, right? It's oh, a possible yeah. middle. Go ahead, pour it in, let your kids help you. Freeze it overnight. Then, Look at this. This is the end result. It's tasty. It's fresh. It's wonderful. And it's great. And you're going to absolutely love it. I got to make sure that she's going back a little bit there. It's nice. And you know what? It's really good for those kids that are at juvenile diabetics that, hey, maybe necessarily can't have all of the sugar that we usually do. So it's a great treat. It's wonderful. This week, also, we have some lunchbox ideas. For uh, anyone who's even coming back from sugar, it's a mini muffin, blueberry muffin, along with my new favorite, the Chunky Monkey No Sugar Baker Ice Cream Sandwich. Oh, my gosh. That sounds amazing. I can't wait to check out all your recipes. Thanks so much for being with us today, Jane. Sure. Go to NoSugarBaker.com. Join our team of over 100,000 followers in less than a year. And, hey, those kids, get them in the kitchen. Get them baking healthy. You too will for great. And if you just got recently diagnosed, if I can do it, you can do it too. I have no doubt. I love that encouragement. Thanks so much. Have a great day. You too. You'll find the recipe for Jane's strawberry, blueberry, lemon popsicles on our website at newschannel5.com. There's also a link to her website for more sugar-free recipes. Well, it's August and it's probably